Hello everyone and welcome to episode 47 of Lost in Translation Mon. I'm May. And I'm Jay. This week we watched Defend the Holy Point. Or Destiny in Doubt. And Explosive Rampage, Black War Greymon. Or Cody Takes a Stand. And now on to Obnoxious Synopsis. And his name is John C. So this episode was really bizarre. Like, I don't, I don't know why, it just felt different. Like, the animation was clearly, like, I'm not sure if they had budget cuts or if, if someone quit, like their animating lead team quit or something, because it just looked like, I mean, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen, but it was, I think I've seen better on Newgrounds. It wasn't quite like Gurren Lagann episode four, but uh, it had sort of the same dip in quality. Mm. I mean, uh, they changed the intro song, and it's just not as good. They misspelled the title of Digimon. It, which should be... They spell it with an O? It should be a no-brainer, yeah. really. And they had put an S on the end. It's just... How do you how do you make that mistake clear, like, honestly? And they started putting in terrible CG? Yeah, which I think maybe they tried to, like, revitalise it for the for 2000. And, I mean, they always used to do that... I mean, they've always done it in the evolutions and stuff. But now when they're just doing it in the regular show, it looks terrible. Yeah, and just randomly, too. Like, not everything was CG. It was just random bits with CG. It was just... It was really strange, and Takeru and Hikari just aren't in this episode. Like, at all. They're just not referenced. It's just Iori, Miyako, and Daisuke going to the digital world, and Vemon's not even in it. They're a new, they're a new Digimon, and it's just, I think they, they, but they got so... It's Terrymon. Terrymon's in it. Yeah, oh yeah, Terrymon's in it, which is weird, because Willis is not in this. Yeah, and you don't get any reference to the old kids at all. Yeah, and it's just, it feels like that they were so sick of how Zero Two had gone, and they hated it so much, they just decided, nah. Let's change it. Let's start from the beginning again. Like halfway through a season with Blackwall Greymon, they just got so upset with Blackwall Greymon. Everyone quit. That's why they, they, they had budget cuts. This is done with Angstmon completely. Also, um, it might have just been the file I had, but the translation through what I can only think was a new, completely new voice actors because their accents were totally different, mm. but just was terrible. And I've got a few choice pieces of, uh, of translation here. But we open with... Um, with uh, Daisuke on a plane, and they spend the first, I believe, full minute just going through regular plane safety. Mm-hmm. Which is important. Of, like, put your bag in the overhead locker. It'll make everyone more comfortable. It was really compelling television, and then he all argue- things considered. And then, of course, being Daisuke, of course, he argues with the woman and says, no, I've got something important in here. So I thought, does he have Vemon in the bag? I mean, obviously. Although you never see him, so maybe it's not that obvious. Maybe he's just full of drugs. Maybe. I mean, the... Clearly someone was on this, on the animating star. Japanese airport security, not so tough on drugs. So, yeah, then we see Miyako, who I think has cut her hair to be more like Sora. I mean, if you're going to have the same crest, you may as well yeah. you know, make yourself exactly like them. They cut their losses on her, basically. And she seems a lot ruder to y- y- Yori, too. And Yori seems a bit different, too. That's okay. If, if, the last episode, if the last few episodes have taught us anything, it's that he kind of deserves it. Yeah, and also, where's Ken? Gone. Just gone to be the bad guy again, probably. Yeah. In the just, next episode. It feels very non-sequitur. And they completely stopped mentioning the holy points. I mean, maybe they did. There was a there was definitely something holy, but I don't think they called it a holy point or a holy stone or a destiny stone. No, I don't they think so. They called it a portal or something? No, 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 that was the digital gate. Yeah, and what, but why did they use a computer to that? They just removed all mechanics. Well, no, because you can come... There are digital gates in lakes now, remember? Oh, yeah. So they can be anywhere. They've already established that. Oh, yeah, they've already established that they can just change the rules whenever so, yeah, they want. The kids sort of go out on a holiday, and um, Miyako is a huge nerd who likes physics. That was a great thing to establish. At least that's not terrible, her character still being a huge dork. Yeah, at least they bring up that she's smart. <clears throat> then um, uh, Daisuke arrives on a plane... Into Japan. I don't know why he's flying in. I got that maybe that they didn't mention that he'd gone to Okinawa or something because I know, I know that they go there a lot for 
for like camp and excursions and stuff. You mean heightened view Nara? Of course. Um, so yeah, he, they arrive and he hangs out with Iori and Miyako and he brings out his dad's diary and he talks about how during the middle of the night one night a green ball of snot delivered his dad's diary to him mm. and it mentioned a digital gate and they have to go find it on a mountain. Which is a bit weird, but they go and they, they hang out and they explore and Iori falls down on what appears to be a giant stone mushroom and then spins around like a hundred times really fast. And all of a sudden, a big portal opens. Because that's what happens on mountains. And they clearly also make Iori a lot dumber. Like, he's the, like the responsible young child, like very level-headed and mature. But in this, he's just very whiny and klutzy and not very careful. Oh, I totally forgot. At the, when the school was going out, they have one of these amazing pieces of translation of Children, enjoy the holidays to remind study. <laughs> <laughs> that was That was amazing. Um, also, Miyako falls off a cliff. Just She's just walking normally and falls off a cliff. Mm. It's not like she was, there was a hole she didn't see. It was the edge of a mountain. She just stumbled upon it. And Iori wants Miyako and Daisuke to get together for some reason, which is a ship that just is brought out of nowhere. We've never heard of this even slightly possibly being a thing. Before we know it, they're going to be geogressing and it's going to be all over. Mm. So they go, to the, they go through a portal... Which apparently goes to the internet. At least they get, at least they get that reference in there. Mm. Because it would be weird, I guess, for America kids if they're going to walk through a cave on a mountain and, uh, and end up in the digital world without, you know, mentioning the internet. Millennials need to know. Um, and uh, <laughs> and Iori channeling Izzy as I guess he's always done now uh, complains that they might be find aliens. And once again, that just annoys me. I mean, Miyako's clearly more of an Izzy, like, replacement for this season. And it just always annoyed me how Zero Two, they always said, oh, even though she's the one with computers and who's, who knows Izzy, we can't just have her be, you know, the Izzy of the group. We have to have it to be the, the young, smart kid who's not actually that smart. So, I mean, in, in classic Digimon fashion, they land in a desert area. Of course. And suddenly these very, very terrible CGI explosions happen. Mm. And a Terriamon shows up. And it's just yelling the word green over and over again. Mm. Like, it's not even talking in English. Or Japanese in this case, I guess. It's just saying green. Don't really know what's going on. I know. Did, did they lose the voice actor and they had to just have someone in a cutesy voice say green, green, green? They could have hired me for that. At least I could do that. Yeah, you could do it so excitably. Green! Green! <laughs> uh, and he's being chased by, I guess, Andromon without legs? Mm. No, I thought they were more Mechanorimon. Without legs. Yeah, flying Mechanorimon. It's like they're trying to basically merge pre if They're getting very lazy with their character design because it just they were looks always like... always really lazy with the character design. <laughs> it just looks like Andromon with like no face and chopped off legs. Yeah, and they're also in weird CG, which looks really terrible. Um, so... <laughs> Iori straight up says that he pisses himself. <laughs> That was a beautiful moment, but it just had very out of character. Oh, absolutely! I mean, it, was, it was funny. Like I had a giggle from it because you know who doesn't like to hear about little children weeing themselves? But it's just that's not what Iori says. I know Davis has said that in the dub, but Iori or Cody has, has never said that. I mean, maybe that's why Cody's taking a stand. Yeah, and then in the um, episode title because it's Cody's take a stand. Yes, he must be. He's taking a stand and then he's taking a leak. <laughs> Um, let's see. Then, uh, the Terriamon evolves into... I don't know what this thing is. They it's, don't... it's like they d- didn't like Gargomon, so they just removed his pants and guns and just said it's a stretched out one. They just said, we don't like that evolution. I think they called it Mighty Dragomon. Yeah, something like that, which is just... Again, though, the accents were really weird and mm. the translation was terrible, so it's hard yeah, to Yeah, so it's my apologies. I, my, the file I had wasn't very good. So, uh, it also appears that there was no, like... There was no Digivice involved in that evolution. It evolved because it got angry. Which, mm. I mean, please, is this a thing that ever happens in Digimon before? It's the Incredible Hulk mon. It really was the Incredible Hulk. Uh, it become, became big and green when it got angry. It's actually kind of gross. Who makes Digimon again? Toei. Because Marvel's going to be suing them real soon. <laughs> so soon. Uh, I guess this did happen in 2002. Mm. I guess they would have done it then. Um... <laughs> Let's see, they pass up through some Egyptian ruins, so hopefully that will come into it soon. While some fantastic music is playing. Don't don't forget that. Um, and then we find some bees. Yeah, they... Oh, no, no, Hikari is in this. But she's just very badly animated in yellow for some reason. 
Like she, she's and she's surrounded by these beemons, who which I guess maybe they evolve into flymon. They kind of like flying kunemon, but fluffier. And Hikari shows up, but she looks very different. Yeah, and taller. Yeah, so I'm not sure what they're trying to do with Hikari in this. It's a bit weird. Yeah, but like at least the the weird lights Jesus thing, they really they've stuck with that. Mm. They've doubled down on that. In yeah, fact. definitely. Like that's basically all she does. She heals things with her light powers. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Iori is not happy with this at all. And he's just complaining. And Miyako swears at him. Yeah. So this is new. Yeah, and she just says, oh, just stop what you're doing. Just be quiet. Like, she seems annoyed by him. And that's... She's always been quite kind to him. And, you know, she'd call him out when he was, you know, being unfair to Ken. But she was never rude to him. Oh, have you noticed that Hikari's mouth doesn't move? Yeah, I noticed that too. And doesn't... I think... Okay, so definitely in the dub, they, they make note of this. that The animators clearly went somewhere strange with this. Because... Yoli says, "Is she talking telepathically?" <laughs> so at least you know that they point they point that out, which is what the dub is known for pointing out the animation errors. Also, they make a direct reference to the movie Terminator. Do they? I, I don't think they've done that before in the show. They've made references to English only names. in the names usually, mm. and usually they're English names. Yeah. So then we find out that apparently Daisuke's father used to be a Digidestined, and I didn't know that. I know that was maybe he was one of the original ones it that were mentioned be. in the first season. But he's, there's a picture of him hanging out and like fighting other Digimon, and he's pointing finger guns at them, yeah. which I have to assume is his Digi Digimon partner. Yeah, finger gun mon. <laughs> Or maybe it was just edited out of the, the dub. Oh, it would have been. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. right. I guess I must have missed that part. He was just going, E. Um, <laughs> what's it? Uh, and I guess Iori, they've also made him quite stupid, where um, he doesn't know how slow... Okay, by the way, time has slowed down again mm. in the digital world, for whatever reason. Again, it's just retcons after retcons with this show. Mm. Um, and all of a sudden, you know, 40 years in the digital world is about six months in the real world, but Iori seems to think that if he's in here for a short amount of time, then he'll miss lots of stuff in the real world, which is the opposite of how that works. Mm. So Iori's very... I mean, he would have known about the, the state of the previous digital, digital world because they have, to, they have mentioned it before that it used to be, you know, time slowed down in the digital world. And now he just thinks that it's no, the opposite. time's accelerated in the I digital mean, it's world. accelerated in the digital world and slowed down in the real world. But Iori just gets it back to front for some reason. And he's he would know. He's smart. Well, he's not anymore. And then, um, let's see, they cut to, they kind of cut to outside and all of a sudden uh, they're getting attacked by more robots. It's like a war zone all of a sudden, um, with pretty much no build up. Sometimes you see a wizard mon in the distance, but it's not really clear what's going on exactly. Um, I thought he was dead. Also a good guy. And also, he looks more like a dog for some reason. I, I have no idea. They've really retconned a lot of stuff. And also, stuff. I'm not sure if he's meant to be evil, because he, he looks pretty sinister, but then he says, I'll make sure to help them. I think that was in the, like, ironic sense, like, I'll help them. I just... So I guess he's evil again? Does that mean is Tailmon going to be evil again? Because I don't think Wizardmon ever was actually evil. Maybe it was the long con in which his evil plan involved dying. Mm. Um, let's see. Uh, while the fight is happening, there is another evolution. The exact same evolution of Terriermon into uh, Dragomon. Um, after which someone yells, Does Drago do Does Dragomon can save us? <laughs> Um, the bees then proceed to lift Dragomon and help him fly and become a big flying death machine. <laughs> it's really silly. But it works, I guess. It worked perfectly, apparently. Also, to be fair, no, none of the mouths match up. No, it's in not this whole, In this whole And episode. then um, Hikari says, uh, once, they've, once they've won the fight, Oh, I'm really glad we won. The planet was almost destroyed. Even though it was just this tiny village. This very small, confined battle in a random forest almost destroyed the entire planet. Also, she's sad that they won. <laughs> she does appear to be sad she's that like, they won. I'm sad. Like, God, Hikari, just glow some more, I guess. <laughs> and she does. And so ends the episode with the narrator look very much looking forward to the next episode. Which... Which I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not either. This was probably the worst episode of Digimon that I've ever seen, and it, I, I think I'm done with Digimon. So what did you think of this episode as someone who was new to Digimon? It's really confusing, to be honest with you. Having stuck with it for one and a half full seasons, to get here and all of a sudden it's, it's very different. They've retconned a lot of stuff. They just... Obviously the budget's fallen out. This is a very, um... I don't know, I guess, Evangelion situation, mm. where you it's, it's it's doing pretty good, and you're getting into it, maybe, and then maybe. right at the end, it just falls apart, 
and I, I guess that's what we have to expect now. Um, I guess they get their budget back for Tamers, because mm, if hopefully. people say it's that good, then they must, right? So do you, do you think it's going to be another, like, 30 episodes of just this quality, or do, 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 do you hope that they get some quality back? It wouldn't be 30 episodes, it would be 20, or less. Oh yeah, but 30 episodes, well yeah, 20 episodes, because there's 50 of them this, in this season. Well, I mean, it's Digimon, you, anything could happen, right? Mm-hmm. At what, and what differences did you notice and do you think they were justified? Um, I just noticed really hilariously bad translations and terrible accents. I mean, the English, at least I could understand. They're, they're, when they spoke English, they spoke it well. Mm. But beyond that, ugh, it was almost like they were speaking Portuguese or something half the time. Uh, yeah, it was definitely hard to understand. It did not sound like English, but obviously it was. But yeah, I can see why, why you'd think it would sound like Portuguese. That said, like I'm, I kind of appreciate swearing in a kids' show, and if that continues, I'd be cool with that. Especially swearing at Iori. Yeah, well, you could swear at Daisuke. Actually, Daisuke was tolerable. Yeah, was he was great. He was all right. Miyako was was funny, kind of. She made fun of Iori. Iori was the worst character in this new redesign that they did. Yeah, in um in <laughs> Digimon O two point five. The characters, the new Digimon that were introduced, I guess we, we've already seen Terriamon before and Wizardmon. Yeah. What about uh, B Dogmon? New B Mon? I mean, B Mon, yeah. He looks like a dog. I guess. I mean, I guess what I would have called He's him. He's B Dogmon to me. <laughs> Um, it was really cute, actually. It was one of the more simple designs. It's not terrible, although its animations were really bad. Yeah, I think they're kind of cute. Uh, what about Catbot Mons? Um, I mean, they just don't, they don't fit the aesthetic of what everything else is going on, but that's always been a Digimon thing. Of, mm. It's like designs clashing. It still looks like, you know, they're pre-existing pro- robot Digimon with legs cut off, though. Yeah, the only, the only problem with them is their weird 3D animation that no other Dogmon, that no other Digimons have. Mm. I don't know, they just... Everything, like, at least the other Digimon in this episode are kind of cute, but these... I guess they tried to be cute. They had sort of ears, but they were just... I thought their heads were all flat. No, I think they had points on them, didn't oh, they? Oh, I didn't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. I don't know much about this new version of Digimon. I can't remember much of it. I watched it today and it sucked. Yeah, it was just... It seemed to go very slowly, like, to what we're used to. Alright, everyone, join us for the next episode of Dogmons. Destiny in Doubt... Or Defend the Holy Point. And Cody Takes a Stand. Or Explosive Rampage Black War Greymon. If there are show notes, they'll probably be linked in the description. And thanks to our Patreon supporters, Stevie Patamon. Who Whose fo- names might not want to be linked to this episode. Uh, who you can follow as at Stevie Mon, kind of like the Digimon Vmon. I think nice. that's clever. I like that. Wu Chinglong, who you can follow on Twitch, twitch.tv slash WUQN. Yeah. W U Q I N G L O N G Metal Marmimon Joe Penguin Mage Anime Guy who can follow at Anime Guy Kurosaki and then the number one on YouTube Chuckmon Sam Krieger Ish Paul Bamba Hiro Alato Jason Moroski. See you guys next week. See you everybody. <laughs>